What do you think of Tiger? Well, Tiger is the most talented golfer that ever lived. Without a question, I honestly believe whether he'll reach Jack Nicklaus's majors is debatable. We, nobody knows. Time will tell. If, I'm going to give you a very interesting scenario. If Tiger Woods, once he won the US Open by 15 shots, if Tiger Woods never had a lesson from another pro in his life, I'm not condemning the pros because those pros were pretty intelligent. Hank Haney uh, and, and his other uh, teachers that he's had, they, they, they're pretty good. But Tiger was so good. He was so much better than anybody who plays today. He was so much better on the way than anybody that ever lived. He could never hit the ball like Ben Hogan. Never. Not even close. But that's not what counts. It's scoring. I'm talking about scoring, winning. Tiger Woods, if he never had another lesson, just left what he had, he would have won 20, 22, 24 majors. But he's also been unlucky. Knee operations, back operation, and a few other problems. So, will he come back as a champion? I really hope so, because the game needs Tiger Woods, because it helps me, it helps golf manufacturers, it helps young people in countries where they're not all white, South Africa, where the majority are black, Africa, the world of people of different colors. We need, we need a black man to be a champion. Will he accomplish and become the best golfer ever? Only the Lord knows. I don't know. He's got the ability, but will he? But would I love to sit down with him for one hour and give him a piece of my knowledge? What would you and, say? No, I can't tell you what I'd say. Um, but then I think he could win majors. I wouldn't talk to him a lot about the swing. I'd talk to him quite a bit about the swing because he's got flaws. There's a reason why he's not the same Tiger Woods anymore. There's a reason. And I reckon I could get those things across to him that would make a massive change in life because I've had so much experience, which will take him another 40, 50 years to, to get. So it'll take him at least another 50 years to get, and I've got this in the, in the bank. But you can't walk around volunteering, uh, volunteering to help everybody. What do you think of Rory McIlroy? He is a wonderful young man, a wonderful representative of golf, and the best golfer in the world. I can't speak highly enough about him. He's a terrific young guy. And uh, with the right thought process and training, he's got an opportunity. He's got an opportunity of going down as the best golfer that ever lived. I you really think, think so? Oh, he's got a very good chance. It's up to him now. He, it depends on the path that he, he goes on. And he's got a wonderful parents. He, and you need, you need wonderful management to help direct you. And too many managers are yes men with their players. They know they're not doing the right things, but they're scared to tread on their toes because they might be fired or they might become a, uh, be argumentative about it. If I'm a manager of a sportsman, I'm going to say, you did this wrong, you did that wrong, now listen, you stop or you get yourself another manager. But the old thing, money talks. So, but as long as Rory has all these things and makes, the word is CTR, choose the right, which he will do. And as long as he does that, He's got a chance to be the best player the world has ever seen. He will be the next player, in my opinion, uh, to win the Grand Slam. He's only got to win the Masters, which is made for him. There's never been a golf course that's made for a man more than it is for Rory.